Hello and welcome to Green Matthews Meet the Instruments. Today we're going to have a look at my virginal. So the instrument that the virginal resembles a lot is the harpsichord and in many ways they're kind of the same thing really. The main difference between a virginal and a harpsichord is that on a harpsichord the strings point away from the keys whereas on the virginal the strings run parallel to the keys and this makes it a slightly smaller instrument and rather easier to fit in a home rather than a grand concert hall which was really kind of the idea of one of these things. The other modern instrument that the virginal resembles is the piano, but it differs from the piano really in the way that it makes its notes. A piano has hammers inside so that when you press a key, a hammer strikes the strings. That's how it makes it sound. Obviously, if you press the key forcefully, then you get a loud note, and if you press the key gently, you get a quiet note. This is why actually the piano's full name is the pianoforte, which is Italian for quiet, loud. The virginal makes its sounds in a completely different way, however, and we need to get a little bit closer in to see that. So, as you can see, rather than having hammers to strike the strings, the virginal has little quills, little plectrums that kind of jump up and pluck the strings. Now, what this means is that there is no dynamic on this instrument. You cannot play quietly, you cannot play loudly. It is basically just the volume that it's at. And that's why, although this instrument was very popular throughout the 16th, 17th and early 18th centuries, it's pretty much vanished by the early 19th century. And that's because the tastes changed and composers started to not only tell you what notes they wanted you to play but also how they wanted you to play those notes so you start getting instructions like play this bit quietly play this bit loudly and instruments that couldn't do that kind of fell by the wayside but it is certainly true to say that instruments like this were the keyboard instrument of choice throughout the 16th and 17th centuries and in many ways they kind of hit the peak of their repertoire um, with a series of pieces by Bach called the Well-Tempered Clavier. Um, and so on that basis I'm going to play you a little bit of Bach on my virginal.